Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Matchday Live series. Today it is the Europa League and Arsenal taking on Olympiakos. And now if you do remember, Olympiakos did the job over Arsenal last time out. So we want a little bit of a revenge. Um, we are away from home in the first leg. So a nice um, couple of goals would be nice obviously going into that first leg. Um, taking the away goal advantage into the second would be perfect for Arsenal. It's not going to be easy though, of course. As I mentioned, Olympiacos did get the better of Arsenal last time out. Um, so we want that revenge. We want to knock them out and get ourselves through to the next round of the Europa League. It's not going to be easy though, but you have to favour Arsenal. Playing a lot better um, as of late, so fingers crossed that momentum can take us into the next round. Uh, no idea of the starting eleven which Mikel Arteta is going to be going with this evening. Saka, he's been playing fantastically well in European football so far this season, so I think he will be starting. Uh, maybe Lacazette will get a start in tonight's game and then maybe start Aubameyang in the second leg, depending of course on the score lines. Uh, but more importantly, we just want... The win. We want to score a couple of goals, which I said would be nice for that away goal advantage. And then obviously keep a clean sheet too. And then we can look good for the second leg, which I believe... Is it at the Emirates? I don't even know if these games are played at our stadiums. Whether it's at the stadium, uh, the Emirates Stadium or Olympiacos Stadium. And I have no idea, to be honest. Um, I assume it will be. Uh, but a little bit on Olympiacos right now. They're in great form, I believe. They're currently top of their league as well. Pretty convincingly, if they're not already confirmed champions of Greece, I think they, it won't be long before they are um, confirmed as. So they're having a much better season than Arsenal are, that's for sure. Arsenal's still tr struggling in the Premier League around mid-table, which is absolutely terrible. For a team of Arsenal's stature, we need to be doing a lot better. And of course, winning the Europa League will um, ease the fans a little bit. But of course, we need to be up there in the league. We don't want to be relying on winning the Europa League to get ourselves back into the Champions League. But it is what it is. Um, it's not an ideal competition that we want to be in the Europa League. But it is what we are um, competing in right now so hopefully as I said we can get ourselves through to the next stages and hopefully get ourselves into the final where we can possibly lift the trophy at the end of the season but a long way for that just yet Olympiacos as you can see getting ourselves in this game with a nice goal um, good passing play there actually through the Arsenal defence 58 minutes gone and it is for Tunis with that first goal of the game for Olympiacos Arsenal then they need to get themselves back into winning ways. We do have the away goal, so it wouldn't be the end of the um, tie if it does end 1-1. Of course, a nice away goal would be perfect, especially um, if we can keep a clean sheet tonight. And obviously keep a clean sheet in that second leg as they've gone all the way through here. And two goals in succession, just over an hour played. And Olympiacos have come from behind to go in front two goals to one. And now Arsenal have some work to do. Not what we were expecting. Arsenal pretty much controlled this game from the start up until this point. Well, good finish there. Look at the power on that one. Again, defence absolutely nowhere. Mady or Mardi Kamara is there to score his first goal of the game. So into the final 20 here. Olympiacos, Olympiacos still holding on to a 2-1 lead. Silva has come on as well there for Olympiacos. Now remember, Socrates is also here in Greece. New signing in January. And what an effort that was. Less than 20 minutes gone. And Olympiacos have scored a third. Not what we wanted. Not what we was expecting. The only thing, the only positive that we can take from this result right now, if it was to happen tonight, uh, would be the away goal. Obviously, taking that away goal, we would need two goals going into the second leg. Uh, but of course we would need to keep a clean sheet in that second leg as well. But Fortune is getting his second goal um, of the match. That was probably his best one there. And a chance here for a fourth then for Olympiacos. David Luiz has just picked up a yellow card. Giving away the free kick in a danger area. And that one's laid off. Granite Xhaka there with the block. Good block there by the Arsenal midfielder. 
but the danger is not clear just yet. If we can get one more goal before the full-time whistle blows, that would be perfect. Well, not perfect, because perfect would be not conceding at all. But here is Aubameyang trying to play that through for Odegaard. I think he saw the run of Martinelli there, but for some reason EA, being EA didn't want to let that one go all the way through. So into the final couple of minutes then, it looks like Olympiacos are going to be taking the first leg here against Arsenal. Hopefully... That doesn't happen later on in tonight's game. Not sure exactly what time kickoff is, but there we go. Final whistle blows. Olympiacos 3, Arsenal 1. Some work to do in that second leg if it does end like this. Uh, leave a like, guys, if you did like today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.